sprocket change for a less frantic Duke or a more engaging classic 350. How does it work? To quick recap, the final gear ratio shares a sort of an inverse relation. A higher gear ratio makes the gearing shorter and a smaller ratio makes it taller. So how do you play with it? Let's suppose you have an RTR 204V. It has a 13 teeth front and a 45 teeth rear sprocket. Dividing 45 by 13 gives us a gear ratio of 3.46 is to 1, which means that it is very short geared. Now let's suppose that you ride primarily on the highway at 90 kph, 7000 rpm. At this rpm, you might feel that the bike gets slightly buzzy, just a little more than what you would like. So in order to make the bike run at a slightly lower rpm, you can make the gearing taller. How do you do that? Simply by opting for a bigger front sprocket like a 14 teeth or a 15 teeth sprocket or a smaller rear sprocket like one with 42 teeth. Both of them would do the same thing of bringing the RPM down for the same 90 kph speed and it will hence make your ride a little more relaxed. On the flip side, suppose you have a Honda Unicorn. Now if you ride a Unicorn in dense traffic, you will find it lethargic. So what can you do to improve acceleration? You can either opt for a smaller front sprocket like one with 14 teeth or a bigger rear sprocket like one with 46 teeth. This will improve the acceleration and hence improve the rideability. There are some caveats though, so do not forget to read the pinned comment.